blah, blah, blah. Mom, hi, what you filming? I'm gonna show you in your underwear. Okay, what you filming? A review. Pardon? A review. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a review for Shadow of a Girl by Shannon Greenland. I was sent this book in exchange for my honest review as part of a tour run by Let's Talk Books, so I'll leave her link down below if you want to check her out. I actually really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, so without further ado, let us get started. This book is a suspense romance novel and it follows a girl named Eve. For her entire life Eve has been in constant fear. She has been trying to portray herself as the perfect girl in order to please Gideon and escape punishment. Given the chance to flee, Eve becomes a roadie for a band called Bus Stop and this is where she meets West Wolf who is the lead guitarist. As she travels the world with the band, she begins to think that she may have a chance at a normal life and she doesn't have to have constant fear anymore. But with Gideon close on her tail, she realizes that she is never going to have a normal life and she has to keep moving. That's the only synopsis I'm going to give because honestly I went into the book completely blind and I think that it's way better if you don't go in knowing because... Right from the start, the first sentence, you're like hooked because it doesn't tell you who Gideon is, it doesn't really explain anything about Eve, it just jumps right into the story and you're kind of sitting there like, what's going on? So I think that you should all go into it blind, so that's all I'm giving you. I loved all the characters in this book. I think that they were all really well developed, I think that they all seemed very real and none of the like cliche kind of tropes were there in my opinion. I loved watching Eve going from this scared little girl into this confident woman and just being more comfortable with herself and other people. It was really nice to see. I loved the friendship between Eve and Anne. Anne was this like punk rock lesbian who had like a mohawk and she was like super chill. You could tell that they both really cared for each other and it was really awesome to see a strong female female friendship instead of the stupid friendships where they pretend to hate each other. I talked about this in my last top five Wednesday. I hate the whole bitchy cat fight thing. It was just nice to see a strong friendship. I loved how the relationship was not insta-love. I hate insta-love. So the fact that it was more of a slow burning romance made it so much better for me. Like yeah, the obvious like first attraction was there, but they began as friends and then it slowly grew into more, which I liked so much better than insta-love. Can we just, can we just talk about West? I love him. He is so sweet and he was so genuine and so kind and just you could really tell that he actually cared about Eve and her well-being and he wanted to make her happy and I just I loved it he was so patient with her and I just we need more West in the world man we need more West but I also loved how West was flawed and he had a past that he was trying to overcome as well and I really liked that they kind of worked together to get through their past. It really made Wes seem more like a real human being instead of the typical trope you see where the guy is perfect and there's nothing wrong with him. Like he had his flaws and he had his moments where he was not the ideal guy but it made it seem a lot more real. I think that there was a great mixture of lighthearted moments but also the dark moments as well. I loved the relationship between West and Eve because they were always able to take the dark moments and make a witty comment or something funny and it made it a lot more relaxed and easier to handle when you're reading about things like these books that have hard topics in them. There's definitely hard topics covered, like abuse was a big topic covered in this book and it was done really well and it wasn't in your face. I think that the writing style was so well done. and. The way that the author wrote, it was very vivid and you could see it in your mind and everything that was happening. And it was kind of creepy at times because there was like abuse scenes and the way that they were described as flashbacks, it was like so easy to visualize and it was hard to read but also like really intriguing at the same time. That sounds really weird but like read the book and you'll get what I'm saying. I really loved how we didn't have Eve's full story at the beginning and as the story progressed little bits and pieces of her secrets and her past were uncovered and I think that it made it a lot more intriguing to read because it wasn't just thrown out there at the beginning you had to keep reading in order to find out more which I loved. As the plot developed you became more invested in 
Eve as a character and you just wanted her to get away from Gideon because Gideon, Gideon is so creepy and I just... Oh, I cannot with Gideon. And I really loved the underlying tension throughout the entire book. Like it had the cute romance on the side and then it was like the underlying tension about when Gideon was gonna find her or if he was gonna find her and just like... It was very well done. I really liked it. Overall, I think it was a super addictive read. Like I didn't want to put it down. I wanted to find out what happened next and if Gideon was gonna catch her and it was just... I loved it so much. Alright guys, so that is my review of Shadow of a Girl by Shannon Greenland. I would recommend it. I thought it was super fun. It has dark topics in it, but it also has super lighthearted moments that cover up the suspense and the anguish that is these hard topics. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!